Something terrible has happened. Oh, it's too awful to mention. A new movie is starting tomorrow. And the fur coat is gone. It's gone. Shh, the director doesn't know it yet. He's... <clears throat> he's just arrived in town. He's in a hotel. And he's... Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. I swear I had nothing to do with it this time. I didn't. It was just... One night... I heard the glass breaking. In the fur coat's room. And... I tiptoed in with the baseball bat, and hmm, the fur coat was gone. I'm, well, I guess you know I'm not terribly sorry, but oh, it will take away my chance to be a star. My chance to get on the camera. My chance. Oh. How could it do this to me? Oh, it's probably the director. It's probably him. It is. Oh no. It's a video. Video chat. <clears throat> yes, dear. You are the proud owner of a fabulous little fur coat. Mm hmm. Who has not only served you well but it's captured the hearts of the movie-going public around the world. I'm doing good. Your coat has made you a fortune, and yet I can sense your antagonistic attitude toward that poor, innocent coat. Why? Oh, but sir, you don't know. Why, that dear coat is becoming a nervous wreck. It doesn't know what you are going to do next. Uh, but, uh, but, but, th th this... Is having nightmares of becoming a rug or fringe on a photo frame. It's something I got to... I want this ridiculous fight between you two to stop. We have a full shooting schedule, and I don't want anything to happen to that fur coat. I am not... I will have you placed under house arrest if I have to. But I will not permit you to drive that fur into rehab. But, but that's not... I hope I have made myself clear. If you behave yourself, maybe someday you will get a chance to have a speaking role in one of the fur coat films. Of course. <laughs> no, not another word. Just have that fur coat on the set by 6 a.m. And it better be all in one piece and looking great. Remember, my brother-in-law is President of the United States. As you can see, I'm in big trouble. There's been rumors around town. Yeah, the fur coat's been gone for, for about a week. And there's been rumors that, uh, that I can't repeat. No one knows. The director doesn't know. Only a few friends know this rumor. Well... First of all, it could be his brother. The ferocious... The fur... Ferocious... Fur... That's all we can call it. The ferocious fur. They, packs of them roam the woods. They roam the woods. And chomp innocent bystanders. They chomp them. They're vicious. If he got back with them, he may have turned back into a ferocious fur, capable of, of anything. Either that, or the clown. There's been seen a thieving, murdering zombie clown around town, and they said they think it was wearing a fur coat. I think the fur coat has finally gone bad and become a criminal. We'll have to see. Only time will tell. 
or whether it has gone over the dark side, or whether it can be redeemed. But in the meantime, what am I going to tell the director? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I dress up as a fur, he would take me for the part instead. He's bound to be furious in the morning. But maybe if I bake him chocolate chip cookies, everything will be okay. So, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'll go bake those cookies. See you later. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs>